Mufti, what do you think about Bangladesh and its separation from Pakistan? <laughs> I, I don't... I mean, I'm not a specialist on, on these areas. I don't think it could have ever worked, to be honest with you. Bangladesh and Pakistan could never have been one country because they're not joined anywhere. Like they, they've got a huge, they're separated by, you know, thousands of miles. It's not, so this, it, it, how could this work? You know, you've got to fly over India to get to Bangladesh and, or you got to take the sea route. I mean, it doesn't, could that ever work? I, I couldn't see that working anyway. And then it was kind of uh, obvious that Pakistan, because that's where the seat of power was, ultimately, that they were going to then neglect the Bangladesh because they saw that East Pakistan as, which was Bangladesh, it was called East Pakistan, as kind of, you know, their secondary, the main thing is here. It's a bit like how the UK will always focus on primarily London and Westminster and that kind of, by extension, England. It will never focus on Wales. <laughs> You understand? It's not a focus for the UK, unfortunately. But I mean, in a similar way, I mean, and it's the same with many places. It's like America will, you know, it'll always focus on Florida because that's where it gets a huge amount of revenue from. But it's not going to focus on some of those, you know, the poorer states. So in a similar way, that, but this is even worse because they're so far separated. Pakistan just wasn't going to focus on East Pakistan as much. So it was in their interest to get um, separation, independence. And and then I think the the kind of civil war that broke out, if we can call it that, civil, because it was still at the time Pakistan, um, I think that was just a tragedy. You know, I think there was much wrong done by... Um, um, you know, many Pakistani soldiers towards Bangladeshis and I think, you know, Bangladeshi women rapes and things like this. And to be honest, look, this is, you know, it's it it's kind of going to, it's an unfortunate natural consequence when you're going to get a bunch of foreign soldiers in a time where things are not really ruled by ethics and put them in a territory where they are different by ethnicity and they are the superior kind of being in that situation they're the ones with the guns and they're just a bunch of young men you know geared up for action just living there and then you get you know this this is what happens unfortunately you know they're going to see women these people are going to be like bloody you know testosterone's going to be through the roof they're not, and this is why in, in many scenarios you're going to get this. Wherever you put armed forces like this in a scenario, um, just young, you know, men that are kind of like all there for a while, and that too, a kind of men that are very kind of action, you know, driven. They and they, you're going to end up getting these kind of tragedies where they're going to end up trying to rape women and do stuff like this and. So, yeah, and then obviously Bangladesh kind of took support from India and betrayed Pakistan. But, well, I mean, you, you know, one could say, well, what else were they meant to do? But and then Pakistan has kind of not, you know, Pakistanis kind of still, unfortunately, that resonates this kind of traitor treason thing in some Pakistani culture that they will see oh Bangladesh as a kind of like a traitor state that these people kind of betrayed us and had the Indian army come in and surround Pakistani soldiers and and then Bangladeshi culture sees Pakistanis as like you know oh these murderers and rapists and yeah and it's just it's horrible and it's really bad and I think it's it's a part of history that I wish never really happened and I think it's a tragedy. So, but generally, I think um, I think Bangladeshi people are, by and large, a kind of um, a good kind of more peaceful people. I feel I don't know um, from what I've seen compared to like Pakistani lots <laughs> are a bit kind of a bit I don't know a bit loud as a people. Whereas I I feel that the Bangladeshi community, by and large, is a kind of like a just gets on with it, a very, <laughs> you know, like they're not a kind of like a rowdy bunch. They're just, 
kind of quiet and get on. I don't know. That's my impression. And so, yes, sir, Allah. Yes, 